Good evening and welcome to Options Center. It is Wednesday, 920. Thank you for joining us here. If you're new here, go down to that bottom right hand corner, hit that Options Center logo and subscribe. And don't forget to like the videos. We're going to go through SPY on multiple time frames, monthly all the way down to the 65. Check out the Elliott Wave. Um, probably peek at the QQQ and VIX if we have time. Um, want to kind of focus on where we go next on the daily time frame. The daily is kind of taken over after the 65 because we don't want to uh, be lured into any false moves. So kind of a sloppy day in FOMC. But uh, if you look on the big picture, it was just, it was pretty crisp. But going down to the 65, price was price action was all over the place and, and uh, we started making lower lows. Okay, so here we go. And if you want to help out, um, go down to the description. Check out one of those links there. Otherwise, just a like helps so much. Here we go. Spy on the monthly time frame. We add our high. We're trying to make a lower high. The monthly time frame, we're still in the range of last month, even though we're breaking that reversal candle from the uh, recent high there. And that's uh, something to consider. So getting a little bit bearish on this. We don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the monthly time frame. We have some time left for that to resolve. Now, we are still in the uptrend on the monthly time frame because of that 8 EMA. We're still above it. But let's go down to the weekly. On this weekly time frame, as you usually see, we have our, our uh, higher highs and higher lows, lower highs being made. Um, this is just kind of a market structure <clears throat> theme here. Now, what we have to do is we have to make a new low here underneath this white bar for this to be considered a lower high. I know that um, other people will say, yes, you need this to be taken out before this is a lower high. Yes, I get it. I know what market structure is, but on lower time frames, you know, we make this and we're going to, we make much more of a, um, of an argument that we're going to go lower. Okay, on the uh, weekly time frame, we're coming into that 20 simple moving average. Um, we do have <clears throat> some crossovers on the MACD. So we have a sell signal there. We have a lower high in the RSI, uh, some negative divergence, sell signal. Price action dipped back below that uh, 20 line. And the slow stow still headed down. We, we're all bearish on this scene. Everything about this is bearish. There's nothing bullish about it. So let's uh, move on to the next. Let's go down to the daily. That's not the daily. Let's go down to the daily time frame. Trend is our friend. Okay, so on the daily time frame, this is what is really important for us to look at. See, focusing on the daily time frame now is going to allow us to kind of take out some of that noise that goes on in the lower time frames, especially when you're going into down moves are much faster and more relentless. So um, we were, we've been talking about this consolidation area. We have some in the past there that makes that uh, resistance and support. What well, we're looking at reaching this support area pretty soon possibly even this week so thursday and friday uh 70 points that's easy to do uh so we're looking at making this range yes we're in the middle of the range so we might have a slight bounce tomorrow e even if we retrace back up to the four four almost three where the resistance is that's just a pullback Okay, so we don't have much uh, hedging happening now. We broke down. We broke down from that um, doji candle. We're pushing off that 8 EMA. We're trending now. I believe we had started the trend. We we technically started the trend on the 15th there um, and, and, and uh, have not been able to get back above it. But with FOMC, we didn't know what was happening. So by we, I mean me. 
Um, you guys may have, be smarter than I am, so you may know exactly what's happening. But we're getting um, a trend move to the downside, so bounces should be pretty meager. We're really looking at this as being a 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, and just an itty-bitty 1-2 going into the 8 EMA and back testing that, that uptrend or that rising pivot that I was talking about. And we're underneath just about everything at this point. We do need to take out this low for this to be validated, but um, I'm pretty sure this is happening. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and um, do we want to see... Let's check out a couple of these indicators real quick. All right, make it a lower high in the McCollin oscillator. It looks like we're almost taking out the low there too. So getting getting real close to uh, making a low there. We have the summation, McClellan summation. With that summation, we're right at the neutral. We're actually starting to head downward now. So that's something to take a look at. Um. Ah, uh, yes. Remember when we were talking about the ADX? Very important. ADX was coming down, meaning we were we were going sideways. We're going sideways in a triangle action. The ADX was going down, meaning we didn't have a trend. It's a trend indicator. We did not have a trend. We're moving sideways. Now we're starting to pick up there on that trend. Okay, I think that's an early signal that this should be rising and we're starting a trend to the downside. I know that we had our peak up here, but uh, we've been oscillating back and forth, kind of um, making a top formation. And I think that top formation is done and we're actually starting to trend to the downside. We shouldn't see these highs for quite some time. And just notice here that we have the 200 moving average and it happens to coincide with this trend line. So I think that trend line is a good place to look at about 426. I don't think we're going to hold, but we might get some sort of little bounce into it. Okay. <clears throat> if we... Anything else we want to see on this one? The Williams percent. We're looking for reversal. That's our reversal indicator. Um, certainly had a reversal up here. Made a lower high. And just continuing to the downside. We made a lower low here, so I'm not confident that any sort of reversal is happening for the bulls. So let's go ahead and move over to the 65 minute. We'll check out QQQ and we'll check out the VIX, and that will be it. Pretty simple day today. Um, I think it's pretty clear cut. We had this channel. We broke down from the channel, three wave move to back test the channel, created our top of our triangle, created the bottom of the triangle. We've been oscillating back and forth, just sideways. And now we broke down, had a fake break, which was really confusing. And then we had a breakdown, very solid move, an impulse move, and closed on the lows there. So. Not quite to, to the options expect to move, but I, I'm not sure that this is going to hold this any longer. We already had our sideways moves. Pretty sure we're going to continue to the downside. I'm not sure the options market is calculating that in. Okay, um, just quickly moving over to QQQ, just to check out the tr traditional uh, technical analysis. I just want to check out the triangle. You know, a lot of times the tail wags the dog, the QQQ is in charge. Well, it's pretty clear that we had our triangle and we back tested the triangle and could not get back into it like the like Spy could. So look at that nasty move just getting started. I feel as if we're going to gap down tomorrow. I know that the the uh, futures are open right now and we're, we're negative, but I, I do feel that um, this is a three. This is the wave three. Of three of three. <clears throat> this wave one, two, one, two, and then one, two, wave three of all of these degrees. So I do believe that uh, this could start being a very gappy situation. Even if we gap up, I believe we're going to be sold into. So uh, you can't trust the indicators on a wave three. You can't trust the indicators. Uh, to a certain 
extent, you can't, you have to be very careful on a trending market. You're going to get some um, bullish positive divergence, a look, you know, a couple looks at uh, some bullish positive divergence, but it's going to be misleading. It, it, similar to this wave C right here, it, it's very similar to wave three, just relentless, relentless to the upside. Well, We've been sideways. We broke down from that. I do think we're going to be pretty relentless. And um, if you want to see some targets, let's show you what uh, we're looking at. Okay, so we're going to have to clean things up here. You saw my projections. We didn't go as high as I thought, which is, that's actually a little bit more bearish. You know, we had our 1-2. Our primary situation is a 1-2. ABC down for a one, excuse me, a one, two in the yellow. And now another one, two. Let me tighten this up a bit. But this wave two was very, very subtle, to say the least. So all of these projections. We're not closing any gaps up there. There is a way you can still look at this. There's always a way you can look at this as being, um, you know, bearish as opposed to bullish. So we have our another one, two in the turquoise. And so this move should be pretty relentless with each bounce being sold into fairly rapid. Okay. So you have your initial move here as a one, two, and white. This is our primary, uh, well, you know, not in, in technical terms, but our primary uh, uh, mode of wave that we're looking at. And so wave three, wave three should be into that 410, 411 area. And how do we, how do we get that? At the top of wave one, you measure with your extension move to the bottom of wave one. So you're getting the full distance of wave one <clears throat> and the pullback of the white wave two. So you go all the way back to the white wave two. And our wave three should be a 162 extension, approximately. It can be 262. It can continue on much further, much faster. It can come down to 100%. So that's something we're going to look at. Um, the bulls are going to look for price action to be an ABC down into the 382. And they're going to look for a bullish reversal as a wave four off of that. Because we didn't make any new highs. We have a low, high, uh, lower high. And we made a lower, another lower low after lower highs here so we're just we're we're in a downtrend in the in the lower time frames i do believe that we have a one two and we're looking for wave three to come down probably to that three eight two where we're going to get a reaction from the bulls and have a very small bounce and head to wave four into five for just a smaller move and then probably retest it and continue on lower. So we have a one, two, one, two, one, two setup that we're getting into. Perhaps, perhaps slightly on the bullish chance that I'm wrong, we shouldn't get over this wave two right here. Okay, so I'm holding on to everything unless we get over this wave two in the turquoise. That should invalidate what's happening. Okay, that would mean that this is an A initial move down. Wave 4 is done. Not, sorry, not an A, but wave 4 is done. And we're looking at a wave 1 into wave 2, which has come down pretty low, and then continuing higher. And this would, this would not be a triangle. This wouldn't be anything negative. So our primary is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Our bullish alternative, if we get above, we have to get out of our trades above this turquoise wave two right here. 
and that would be the start of another impulsive wave up. The other bearish moves are are over. I mean, I I know that there could still be <clears throat> a possibly the close up here, and this is an A, B, an impulsive move, C up, but we're not showing any signs of that at this point, okay? We're breaking down from what we've been considering a triangle, not a um, actual triangle where you have an A, B, C, B. You know, that's a continuation, but just a, just a, um, a triangle meaning like spring action that we're loading up, a one, two, one, two, one, two, Broke down from the triangle, and I think we're going to continue our count to the downside. So we're looking at, in the next couple weeks here, getting to the 411 area. 270 points away, or 27 points on, on the SPY. But So we're going to play pretty aggressive. Pretty aggressive to the downside. We're going to roll out positions, roll out positions, roll out positions until... We tag this and or we break above this 444 zone, which brings us back into that triangle. Okay, even if we get a back test of the triangle, it doesn't do it. You have to get above this high here. Above this 44, we'll call it 444. All right, does that make it clear enough for you? We're heading down here to 411. Unless, and not in a straight line, you have to have these waves coming down. So I'm going to press into each. I'm going to take profit as I go and press into each bounce. Sell the rip. Unless we get over this 444. Then we have to look at some bullish plays.